let's go. So I just got home. I didn't even get to put my backpack down yet, but this is the package that I've been excited to open. So I'm gonna open it on camera with you guys and just take off this mask. So like I said, it's um, something for the Taylor Swift concert. I was seeing on TikTok that a lot of people were saying that it's a really long show and it's bad for your ears to be exposed to that kind of like decibel level for such a long time. So I got these loop experience earbuds and I got them in the silver color. So this is what they look like. They're so small. I thought like just from pictures, I thought that they would be bigger than this, but essentially this is what they look like. They literally look like hoop earrings, but they're not. Um, and then it comes with all of these different sizes. So you're supposed to wear them and they filter out the loud sounds, but they don't like dampen the music. So you still hear it, just it's not getting like all of those sound waves through. Um, and so it's supposed to be protective. Okay, so I just got home, that's why I'm in Remember how I told you guys that my sister and I are going to be bridesmaids for our cousin's wedding? So we just got the dresses in the mail. Um, they're from this store or brand called Birdie Gray. And I think they're getting a lot of recognition by brides and like people who are having weddings just because their prices are really nice for the quality of their dresses. My sister and I are both wearing two different dresses. So I'm gonna show you mine first and then um, maybe I'll show you hers later on when she opens it. So the color that I ended up getting is a little different from the other bridesmaids just because they didn't have my size and the color that they originally wanted, but it's in the same um, family. So this is the dress that I got. It's a one shoulder and it's in the color dark mauve. Um, I'm not really sure if this is, okay, so yeah, it's this way. So it's a one shoulder this way. And I heard that there's a pocket in this dress, so um, I'm kind of excited about that, but maybe I'll try this on right now. Okay, so this is the dress. I feel like I have to kind of figure out how to wear the one shoulder thing because like this part is just so frumpy looking. I took off this strap and kind of just like stuffed it in the dress because um, this dress actually has built-in cups, which I was not aware of, um, but you can kind of see like the silhouette. It's like a strapless and then they just have this like on top but essentially this is what the dress looks like it is a line there is no slit um and i feel like with my heels that i got these this dress would be okay okay so that was my dress and i'm going to show you my sisters so because the colors are a little different um i don't really know how that's going to work for the wedding um but my sister's color is in mauve and this is what her dress looks like so the difference is my dress was an a-line dress this one is empire waist um actually i think that like this one is actually really nice um but essentially you can wear this one as if like it's just a strap or you can wear it so it's like a flutter sleeve a quick update i went to the office today the medical assistant who's usually there her kid got sick so she had to leave in the middle of the day and essentially i finished seeing all the patients and then um i had to take over for her job so i was centrifuging blood i was also labeling blood tubes so that we could bring it to quest and 
I've never done that kind of stuff before, so it was like very technical because you have to go into the EMR. And it's just stuff that I wasn't taught to do in school, so I was a little frazzled. But I did it, and then also today I did another pap smear, um, which I'm very excited that I get to do this because I didn't get as much experience as I wanted when I had ob dying. So the fact that I got to do it in family med, that's a plus. Um, for now, I'm gonna go home. I think I'm gonna eat lunch because I'm so hungry and I made ravioli, so I'm really excited to eat. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go home now, maybe work out a little bit and study. So I just wanted to kind of update you guys on today because it's a little crazy and hectic. Hi guys, I look like an absolute mess because I just finished at the gym, went to Trader Joe's and bought some groceries. So. I want to do a haul for you also at the gym i ran into my professor which i thought was really funny because today's friday and technically like if you're on a regular rotation where you do have to go in you're supposed to go in and then i thought i was gonna get in trouble because i was like not on my rotation so the literal first thing i said to him when i saw him was i have off on fridays and then um i was like that's why i'm here at the gym and then he's like okay um it was just really funny because that was like the first thing that came to my mind. Okay, so I'm going to do this really quickly because it is super hot in this car. I'm also wearing my jacket, which I don't know why. But um, first thing I got, my sister wanted some pita bite crackers. So this is something I picked up for her. I also got these ube pretzels. Um, A lot of my friends were raving about them and they just back i'm pretty sure i was between this one and the ube jojos but my sister said um she'd rather try the pretzels so i got that then i got the peanut butter protein granola i love this with some fruit and yogurt in the morning so um it also has peanuts in it which i think is really nice i got two drinks one of them is a tangerine probiotic sparkling beverage this is new so i just wanted to give it a try and then this one is the organic sparkling elderberry and pomegranate apple cider vinegar beverage um i feel like these are supposed to be really gut healthy and like better for your digestion so i got those two things i really wanted to get ice cream but i'm on my fitness journey right now and so i'm really conscious on how much sugar and like sweets i'm eating so i didn't get ice cream but i saw this trend where you make ice cream from cottage cheese and so i bought cottage cheese i'm gonna try to make it and we're gonna see how that turns out because I'm very curious. A lot of people are like raving about it and I'm not sure why. I've never had cottage cheese on its own either, so I don't know how that's going to go. And then lastly, I love these protein bars um, and I usually get them like one at a time, but I just thought I'd get the whole box. So I got the barbells um, or the bear bells, I think it's called. Yeah, the bear bells cookies and cream flavor. This one's really good. The cookie i think it's called the cookie dough flavor is also really good um so i just picked up a whole box of these because i felt like just made more sense and it's also cheaper at trader joe's um online i think when you buy the whole box it's 30 dollars, but at trader joe's it's 23.88 so it's a lot cheaper um so that's why i picked it up here but that's about it i'm gonna go home now i think today um i'm gonna go get the bridesmaids dress shortened because it's a little too long for me and then i'm gonna go home and study as well so that is my haul so i'm just leaving the office today it's around 5 5 30 maybe and um pretty good day i saw about seven ish patients they bought me lunch again so i mean technically like i ate before i came so i didn't really want to eat so much especially since i don't know if i'm gonna be working out today i hope i can fit a workout in because i haven't been working out this week and i kind of just miss like moving but i also um might be going to the grocery store with my dad later so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to fit 
we'll work out it. But we shall see. Hi guys, good afternoon. So I got out of the office today and um, wasn't able to really eat lunch. But I wanted to go to the gym, so now I'm sitting in the gym parking lot and I'm going to eat my lunch. Yesterday, my mom and I made some kimbap, so that's what I have. It's just like a couple of pieces in here. Um, I just wanted to get something in me before I do exercise because I'm going to be so hungry afterward. But I also don't want to work out on an empty stomach or a full stomach, so I'm just, I'm gonna see how much I wanna eat. Hi guys, so I just got home. Um, after I worked out, I showered at the gym. I also went into the sauna or the steam room for about like five minutes. It was really hard at first, like the second I walked in there, it was really hard to breathe, I'm not gonna lie. It felt like I was breathing in water, but then after a couple of minutes, it got easier, and then like my whole entire my whole entire body was drenching in sweat. Um, so after that, I took a shower, and then I just got home. I'm still hungry, so I'm gonna make a protein smoothie today. I worked out legs. I was going to squat, but there were a lot of people using the squat rack, so. I think we'll just have to wait until Friday to do that. But I did a lot of dumbbells. I did the leg press. I did a whole bunch of other stuff and my legs were literally quaking at the end. So I'm gonna make my smoothie, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys like what I put into it. It's literally so, um, I don't know how to explain this. It's so simple. I'm going to put one banana I know a lot of people like to do half a banana, but I'm just too lazy to freeze this, the other half. So I'm just gonna put the whole thing in and, and then I'm gonna grab some frozen fruit. I'm gonna put some frozen strawberries in here. This is what the cup looks like. And then I'm gonna take my organ protein powder. I love this one just because it tastes, and it's also the chocolate one, I, it tastes better than the vanilla protein powder to me. And also, um, it's plant-based. So I know a lot of people get like upset stomachs with whey protein and the other protein powders because they're made from byproducts of milk. Um, and because this one is plant, I just thought it would be better for someone who's lactose sensitive. So this is just like the first one I've ever tried. I'll put two scoops, I already put one in, and then two. And then I come in with some sort of milk. So right now I have soy. Sometimes I'll have oat milk, um, almond milk. Honestly, any of them work. You want a good amount of liquid because otherwise your protein powder is gonna, I mean, your protein shake or smoothie is gonna be super chunky and not tasty no, it won't taste good so i'll put some milk and then i'll also just put some water we used to be. i know my hair looks crazy but i'm just gonna sip on this while i read my pants prep curl book um i'm currently studying for my family medicine eor so i'm on like week four and i pretty much stayed on track with reading everything and then i'm also going to start my hippo education questions because i finished the 250 from rosh and that's basically it yesterday i took a day off from studying really i did some but i like watched two movies and i really just took a mental day for myself because i've been feeling really um like tired and just burnt out from school. So I took a day for myself, watched two movies, and I ended up rewatching Crazy Rich Asians, which if you've never watched a movie, go watch it because I think it's really well made. I'm seriously waiting for the second season, the second one to come out. And I don't even think they filmed it yet, which is kind of sad, but I'm waiting for that one to come out this week spin-off from Bridgerton so Queen Charlotte is coming out 
I'm also really excited for that one. And then also this coming Sunday, Tiffany, my sister, and Tiffany's sister, we're all going to the Bridgerton like ball. It's it's a sponsored event by Fever, and it's supposed to mimic like you going to a Bridgerton ball and you being um, the people who bow in front of or like yeah. So like the people who present themselves to the queen to be. A diamond of the season that's exactly what you're going to be doing i literally signed up for it not knowing that that's what was happening i thought it was just to see like people act but you know like little did i know i was supposed to actually dress up and act like a person who wanted to be courted so it was just i don't know i really should have um looked into it before i bought the ticket but it's okay so that's happening on sunday and it's really exciting. I feel like I haven't been to an event like that in a really long time. So we'll see how that goes. I'll try to vlog as much as possible because I'll be with Tiffany and I know we will want to remember like doing this thing. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now.